Good morning, everybody. This Friday, we're here at the house. We had a very important and very special appointment to be here for today. Today is a big day. For those of you who uh, know us well, you know that we like to have our house cold. Around 17 Celsius, which is probably 65 Fahrenheit. Is that where that is? 68, 65? I don't know Fahrenheit that well. We like to have it pretty cold in here at night and our summers here in Manitoba get hot, believe it or not. Yes, Canada gets hot in the summertime. Really, really hot. So what did we do? We called Brown's Plumbing and Heating here in Steinbeck and we got an air conditioner installed today. I'll tell you about it in a bit. This isn't a paid ad for them or anything, but they did do an amazing job, better than a five-star job. And I don't mind bragging about them a little bit because if you want it done right and you want it done well, you know where to go now. Why am I taking my shoehorn outside? Why do I always do that? All right, the boys are already out here. If you follow us on any other social media like Facebook or Twitter, you will have already seen the posts of it. Very excited, very excited. There she is. It's a Lennox Elite made, according to the stickers, in Dallas, Texas. I do believe the Texans know a thing or two about air conditioning. I am trusting them. And there she is. Very excited because I've never had central air conditioning before uh, since I've owned my own houses. My mom and dad always had it and I always took it for granted. And once I moved out, I realized that a lot of houses here don't have air conditioning. Now we don't get hot like Georgia. We don't get hot like Arizona, but you know, it gets up to around a hundred Fahrenheit here regularly in the summertime. And this house traps the heat. And we moved in here in September and we could barely withstand just September already. We can't sleep. Me and Britt both can't sleep if we're warm. It just doesn't work. We can't get a good night's sleep. So we, uh, we always had a mobile air conditioner, sort of like a window unit or one of those ones on wheels where you can, you know, vent it outside and it cools the room. We've never had a central air conditioner like this before. And we're very excited. It's, uh, it was a long time coming. So Brown's plumbing and heating here in Steinbeck. We dealt with uh, Colin who came here on Monday. Uh, first of all, I called them on the weekend. I left a message. Obviously they're not open on the weekends, but uh, I left a message anyway on Saturday. And, well, probably get back to me, you know, sometime the next week. Colin called me back pretty much first thing Monday morning, arranged an appointment to see us Monday evening. He was here at six o'clock Monday evening, explained all our options to us, everything we needed to know about these things. He measured out our house to see, you know, what our window sizes were, what our square footage was to see what kind of air conditioner we would need. And then he gave us our options and we went right to the top and went one down <laughs> like we usually do. And we ended up with this. It's a, it's a very neat unit. You know, if you want to learn more about them, if you're into air conditioning that much, it's a good brand to go with. Good brand to go with. But anyways, so Monday, uh, we signed the papers and bought one. Friday or Thursday, Colin gets a hold of me and says, Hey, we have it in stock already. It came from Edmonton, I believe. Would you like us to install it tomorrow? Which would be Friday. We went with it. We went for it. We got it installed the very next day. So from the time I called them saying, Hey, I'd like an air conditioner to the time everything was finished, complete, installed, sealed up less than a week. It was five business days. I'm not going to promise they're going to be that fast with everybody, but I, I'll promise you they'll try. <laughs> it worked out perfect for us. So I guess what happened was we put in our order on Monday. They probably received the order Tuesday morning, put it on a truck in Edmonton. I'm a trucker, so I understand how, how long it takes to get places and the logistics of things. And I was kind of doing it in my head. And this is the fastest possible scenario that could have happened. It takes two days, right? Just over a day to get here from Edmonton. So they probably got the order Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon, they probably loaded it on a truck and sent the truck out. So they drove a little ways Tuesday afternoon and then all day Wednesday, it would have arrived in Winnipeg Wednesday night. Okay? Wednesday night, it gets unloaded or maybe Thursday morning gets unloaded. They let Browns Plumbing and Heating and Steinbeck here know that it's in Winnipeg. And then they get it couriered from there to here. So it's here Thursday afternoon, Collins 
on the phone with me saying, hey, we got it, let's install it. The very next day, he had a team here at a little after 8 a.m. installed. Like that is as fast as you can physically do it. So that's why I'm bragging on them a little bit here. They didn't ask me to advertise for them. They didn't ask me to, you know, promote them or anything. I just believe uh, when you earn a good reputation, when you, when you earn a good five-star rating, I'd give them 10 stars if I could, you know, you should tell people about it because other people want to get services too and they want to know who's the best. That was incredible, the amount of how quick they got it here. So I was very happy with it. And, uh, you know, it's plumbing and heating. So they also do all the plumbing, hot water tanks. Uh, if you want to install a dishwasher, which I asked them about because we'll be doing that. Uh, what else do they got? Uh, you know, your heating, your furnace. They service everything. They install everything. And they have great customers. They care about their customers. They really do. They made us feel uh, very important and very special. Like we were their number one focus. And I know they got other things going on. I mean, they're, they're a business just like any other business. We're not their only customer. But when they were here with us, they made us feel like we were their only customer. So that's my glowing review of Brown's Plumbing and Heating uh, that I decided to do. I'm very excited to uh, show you guys how this thing works once it uh, warms up enough. On Monday, uh, this thing will probably turn on already. I'm thinking, maybe. It's supposed to get up to close to 20 degrees Celsius on Monday, so it might turn on Monday, it might not, but in a couple of weeks, it'll for sure be going. And I saw comments in my uh, social media, oh, Canadians have air conditioning? It gets warm in Canada? It gets very hot here. <laughs> because you gotta remember, our winters are so cold because we don't get very much sunlight, right? The sun just barely peaks above the southern horizon. And we have long hours of darkness in the wintertime. In summertime, it's exactly opposite. The sun won't leave us alone. It'll rise in the north, in the northeast. It'll come up and just sort of hover over you all day. Go across the center of the sky and then it'll go back down in the northwest and just dip below the horizon there and then come back up. It won't leave us alone in summertime. So clearly, it's gonna be hot, very hot. And when we move and when we build, that AC is probably gonna come with us and we're gonna replace it with another one. And uh, we might keep this house as a rental. Uh, we might sell it. That's in the future for us to decide, but we have already decided when we build, that AC is coming with us. But in the meantime here, Britt's at work for the evening. So I decided I'd come out here and enjoy the outdoors. It's hard for me to sit inside when the weather's nice. Because it's so cold all winter that when it finally warms up enough to sit outside comfortably or semi-comfortably, I do it. I'll take every opportunity to be outside. I'm going to hang out here with the boys. We've got our nice fence up around our yard. What else could you want? All right? It's the next day. It's also the big day. The day we've all been waiting for. I'm cutting it all off. I'm going bald. I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie. It might be, it, it, well, it might be. It will be something to get used to. But, uh, I think it'll be good. My hair's thinning at the top of my head, and that's okay. I don't mind that. But to combat that, I figure, I'm just gonna cut it all off. Okay? We're gonna see how it looks. We're gonna give it a good shot. Might go the whole summer like this, see if we can get used to it. And if it's just awful, we can't get used to it, well, we'll figure something else out. But I think it'll be good. I think it'll look a lot better. A lot better than my forehead getting bigger and bigger, you know? Because this way I go bald on my own terms. So off I go. They can't shave me right down to the scalp there. They're gonna go as short as they can and we'll probably, uh, you know, do the, the razor at home later tonight. I've never been completely bald. I have shaved it off before, like as, as short as you can with the, the clippers. And that's probably what it's gonna be today. We'll see what happens. I hope you still like me after. <laughs> Moment of truth, everybody. I'm going in. Okay. 
Take my shades off so you can look me in the eye. It's a serious moment. <laughs> well, get a good look at it. Okay. And I'm going to open myself up to your opinions in the comments section and uh, hope that you're uh, kind to me. <laughs> kind but honest, right? Let's see. Uh, let's see what it looks like when I get back. All right. I'm going to leave you guys in here. See you in a bit. Okay. Are you ready for this? It was just a buzz cut, okay? We're going to finish razoring it at home later, but what do you think? I actually like it. I like it. I don't care what you say. I like it. You know how much quicker it'll be in the shower now? You know? Maybe I'll stick with the buzz cut. Maybe I'll... I'll, I'll probably shave it down in the skin later. But, uh... I like it. I feel so free and young. You know? I can't let my hair flail on the wind anymore, but we can imagine. That's okay. So, let me know down in the comments. Be honest. Be easy on me, though. Go easy on me. <laughs> I don't care. Say what you want to say. It feels so, like, light. And I think it'll feel nice in the summertime when it's so hot out. So nice. Is there a mirror in the sun? Ah, there is. Oh. I'm keeping the beard. Don't worry. The beard is here to stay. We're not cutting that off. No, because I'll look ridiculous like that. I, I don't have the chin to have no beard. <laughs> I need my beard <laughs> to look normal. Yeah. Cool. Well, this is how you're going to see me for the rest of the summer, at least. Yeah, I'm my head on. I feel younger. 